it's that time again. Time to do my NFL Week 5 recap for all my viewers out there. All 12 of ya. How you doing? The games that I watched were the Minnesota Vikings versus the Packers, Ravens versus the Colts, Jets versus the Chargers, Patriots versus the Bengals, and on Monday night, the Seahawks versus the Redskins. The first game I watched was Thursday Night Football between the Minnesota Vikings versus the Green Bay Packers. I don't remember much from this game except that the Packers kicked the crap out of the Vikings. How could a cheese packer beat a Viking? It doesn't even make any sense. Eddie Lacy got a sweet touchdown. And he knocked off a Viking player's helmet. He was like, you ain't taking me down. Aaron Rodgers was on fire that night. And when he gets on the hot streak, there's no stopping the Packers. They'll keep on winning. Christian Ponder threw some interceptions and was only able to get the Vikings one touchdown. I think everyone in the Packers were able to do at least one Lambo leap that game. The first game that I watched on Sunday was the Baltimore Ravens versus the Indianapolis Colts. Flacco against Luck. They are fairly great quarterbacks. They both have powerful arms. Catching a throw from either of them must be Christ-like. It was kind of a boring game at first. It was uh, mostly back and forth. Lots of turnovers. It started to turn into a good game in the fourth quarter, though. Andrew Luck and the boys were in the red zone and on the verge of getting a touchdown when all of a sudden... Fumble! Ravens ball with less than two minutes left. But unfortunately, they weren't able to score the winning touchdown. If only Steve Smith caught that ball. OMG! That would have been a great comeback win for the Ravens. The next game that I watched was the New York Jets versus the San Diego Chargers. How about them Jets? They are just horrid and awful right now. Geno Smith played the first half, and then they put in Michael Vick for the second half. It didn't make one bit of difference. The Jets still crashed and burned. Geno Smith missed practice because he was watching a movie and lost track of time. All I can say is I hope the movie was good, Geno. I still feel bad for him. But you know who I really feel bad for? Nick Folk. He never even got a chance to play. He did not kick one field goal for the Jets. Zero points is pathetic. The last game that I watched on Sunday was the New England Patriots versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Tom Brady was fired up that night. All week, ESPN kept talking trash about the Patriots and were saying that their, Tom Brady's job was at stake and that the Patriots were just washed up. But after that great game, ESPN was back on the Patriots bandwagon with nothing but nice things to say. Brady also became the sixth quarterback in NFL history to throw for 50,000 yards after a nice pass to Gronkowski. He made history. It was definitely a great game. We showed everyone that the Patriots still got it. Don't get Tom Brady pissed off. He will make you pay. The last game of week five was the Monday night game where we saw the Seattle Seahawks versus the Washington Redskins. Yeah, I said Redskins. Speaking of Redskins, they didn't play very well and the Seahawks kicked their ass. Russell Wilson had a great game 
and made lots of good plays. Especially that one where he outran that sack and threw a great pass to Lynch. It was probably the best play of the game, for sure. Marshawn Lynch was a beast that night. I don't remember the rest of the game. It was awesome, though. Some of the other highlights of the week would be Peyton Manning with his 500 passing yard touchdowns, which is pretty cool, but he gets way too many accolades. I'm getting sick of seeing his face on every commercial on TV. Papa John's, Nationwide, MasterCard, DirecTV, Gatorade, and that one where he's talking to a car? I think football fans should get the chance to throw 500 passes into Manning's face. That could be fun. All right, it's everyone's favorite part, where I go from slob to Viking to talk about fantasy football. My team, the Viking Crips, won again, defeating our opponent. Uh, we check the score. 105.5 to 87.5. That is awesome, or what? The, the first... The quarterback I put in this week was Jay Cutler, the same as last week. Even though the team lost, he still managed to give me 21 points. And uh, I still got Jamal Charles in, and he got me... 8.5 points, which isn't bad. Uh, Jordy Nelson had a, another good week, 13 points. Rob Gronkowski had a great game, 19 points. And I think I was down. He was my last player to play, and I needed just, like... I don't even remember if five points or ten to win. And he ended up getting me... Oh, it might have been just two points. Yeah, I think it was two points. I only needed two points to win the game. I mean, to win for the week. And he got me two points, plus 17 other points. Booyah, I won. And DeMarco Murray... He keeps having great games, and he got me 20 points. He gets me, like, 20 points every week. Michael Crabtree, only two points. Yeah, he hasn't got me that many points. And this week was the first week I put Sammy Watkins in. And he got me 12 points. I think I like him. I think I'll keep him in my lineup and the Texans daily got me two points uh, yeah losing to the Cowboys I don't know if that's embarrassing or not and Adam Benetary is my kicker he got me eight points and yep no mead this week. Uh, so it's gearing up for week six. Get ready for that shit. Viking Crip out. Where's the stop button?